so now I'm going to show you how I do the carcass, the carcass before they go in the oven. You'll get your hands and want them all wet. They're all perfect, but they all work. Use all the ribbon. This is my next lot that's going in after these. I'm going to do them both different. For so this one I'll be using hairspray and this one I'll be using stiffener after I've used the, um, the mousse. Now we're going to rub the mouse up and down so it's all getting it. I mean you would think this would do but it doesn't because after a while the, pearl, the curls actually fall out so that's why I do something extra and this way they don't fall out. Everything I use I buy in bulk as I sell them as well so I make in bulk and buy in bulk. Yeah, so what has been in the hair for a while, they start to drop the curls. So when I put this on, they don't drop. My granddaughter tests everything out for an egg, so I know what happens to them afterwards. trouble but it's really worth it in the end. So now we're going to go on that silver tray. So now they're going to go in the oven and I put them on 20 minutes on the lowest gas and it gives them, you know, good time to dry out. The longer you leave them the better, but you can only leave them a certain amount of time. So 20 minutes on your lowest, setting on your oven and I'll see you in 20 minutes. So the corker balls are finished. I'll show you which was which pile. This one in the middle is the one that's had the hardener on. This one here just had the mouse and the hairspray on, and you can tell. It comes out just like this. When you leave it hanging for a while, that's what happens. It's like hairspray when it's in your hair. And it's that your hair starts to fall apart after a while. That's what happens with these. So, hardener and mouse is the winner in this case. 